Today, January 11th, was the day that the Department of Health and Human Services was supposedly going to officially call an end to the COVID public health emergency. But the government gave no notice, so it didn't happen, and it reportedly won't, at least until April. But even then, how much change will we actually see? D.K. Wright went to the Ohio County Health Administrator Howard Gamble for some answers. The public will not see a lot of change. There won't be a moment when everything COVID-related goes away. Vaccines are still going to be out there. Uh, we still get vaccines from the state of West Virginia and from the supplier of those vaccines, and they're still provided for free. And those will probably continue for quite some time. Some things have already changed. The free COVID testing drive throughs are gone. Now there are at-home test kits or testing by your doctor or clinic. And tracking of case numbers is over. No one will call you and tell you to quarantine. But Health Department Administrator Howard Gamble says what won't go away completely is COVID. Um, the key is if you haven't got vaccinated, you can still get vaccinated. And you haven't got your booster, you can still get boosted. First, we have to remember the pandemic hasn't stopped. It still is continuing across the globe. But for the United States, we're in a stage where we can bring down our level of emergency declaration. DK Wright for 7 News in Ohio County, working for you. Thank you, DK. Gamble says that Omicron and other subvariants are still out there. Well,